Today we are at Disney Springs and we are having lunch at Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. So if you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. This is actually the hangar bar, but during the holiday season, they transform this hangar into a holiday theme. So um, if you've never been to the hangar bar before here at Disney Springs, this is kind of themed after Jock Lindsay, who is Indiana Jones pilot. This is in a hangar, hence the name. Um, but we have never actually done the holiday bar before, so I'm really excited. We've ordered some cocktails, we've ordered some little appetizers, and I love the little holiday overlay in here. It's super cute. So here at Jock Lindsay's holiday bar, uh, this is one of many holiday offerings that are going on around Walt Disney World, specifically here at Disney Springs. So in addition to being able to walk around the springs and see all of the uh, special holiday decor, uh, the Christmas trees that are scattered throughout, which you can do like a little hunt for, this is a great offering. And of course you can see it is well decorated inside here with all kinds of holiday decor from bows and elves and Santa Clauses, wreaths, basically everything and anything that you can think of. Um, and yeah, so waiting for the cocktails, which I'm pretty excited for, and some food. So we've got some of Jock's holiday specials to eat, and we've got the holiday ham and brie, which comes with watercress, Granny Smith apples, and pomegranate seeds, along with the ham and brie. We also got grandma's favorite sliders, which is venison sausage patties, arugula, tomato, and a cranberry aioli on house-made buns. Then we also got the C9 light deviled eggs, which are colored deviled eggs with shrimp and tobiko caviar. So out of all three dishes, my favorite were the sliders. I can see why they named them grandma's favorites because they were absolutely delicious. The venison sausage burger itself was cooked perfectly. It was seasoned so nicely, but I think my favorite part of it was the cranberry aioli. I typically don't like cranberries because I think they're a little too bitter. However, in that slider, in that aioli, it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, overall that was like a perfect slider, especially when you think of the holidays, um, that cranberry in there really gives it like that holiday-ness, because who doesn't have a holiday dinner without cranberries? For the flatbread, I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Um, I love brie cheese and with it nice and melty on there, it was so good and creamy. I do wish maybe there was a little bit more ham on there. Um, other than that, the flavor was very good. I loved the flatbread, um, but overall could have been a bit of a bigger dish. Um, now the deviled eggs, I guess I did not read thoroughly enough. I did not realize that the actual egg itself was going to be colored. They were red, white, and green, which was super cute to make them like, you know, a little festive. Um, but I really liked the touch of shrimp on the top. I thought that was a nice little, you know, something to make them a little different than just like a traditional um, deviled egg. But I've only actually ever had, from what I can count, like maybe three deviled eggs ever. Um, and these are really good. Um, you know, I don't have a ton to compare it to, um, but they were very enjoyable. Start off our little uh, holiday lunch, whatever this is. I went with the Yule Mule. This is Bombay Sapphire Gin, Ginger Beer, Grandberry, Cranberry Juice, and Rosemary Simple Syrup. Uh, the first couple of... First couple of tastes. Mine was a little bitter, a little bitey. I think I would have liked to have a little bit more of that rosemary simple syrup in there. It's not as prominent as I would have liked. Uh, and it almost, it's almost like the cranberry juice was like a mix of uh, sweet and unsweet, which are two very big different things. So, um, but overall, pretty good. Uh, I would have just liked to have a little bit more of the rosemary in there because it really kind of sets off the holiday feel. So here at Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar, they have three holiday cocktails this year. I decided to get the Cosmo, <laughs> a play on a Cosmo. Uh, this is a traditional cosmopolitan with absolute citron vodka, Cointreau, and cranberry and lime juices with a shimmering twist garnish with the sugar rim. This is a super smooth Cosmo. 
It is delicious. Oh my gosh. And it, not only does it have the sugary rim, I just realized this right now, it's actually shimmery in the cocktail itself. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I can see it and it is really cool. It is absolutely delicious though. I could have a few of these. They uh, basically taste like juice. Super smooth. Very nice. So of all of the little apps that we had here to eat, I think probably my favorite would have been uh, the grandma's favorite sliders. Really great. Uh, the venison sausage patty that was in there, nice and tender, not overdone. Uh, had a nice little char on there as well. And then you have the cranberry aioli. Adds a nice sweetness uh, that also mixes with the savoriness, I think, of the of the dish itself. So it's really good, nice and tender, like I said already, and I would definitely come back and get it again. And it was a perfect portion to split between the two of us. So Taylor got one and I got one. I would say of the three, the one that I did not like the, the most would have been, not that it was bad, because it was still really good, uh, would have been the uh, holiday ham and brie. Uh, I really just kind of felt like... When you spread it out on the whole like piece of the flatbread, uh, towards the end there was almost no ham and brie at all. So it's basically just like the flatbread itself. And then I also didn't get any of those Granny Smith apples on there, which would have added a nice kind of tartness to uh, the ham and brie itself to uh, uh, just kind of, I think, maybe balance it out a little bit more. But it was still decent. And then I really love the deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are like some of my favorite things to get. And uh, what I will say is that uh, the shrimp on top actually added a nice texture to the deviled egg itself. So it wasn't just this one straight texture, which tends to be really smooth, creamy. Um, it gives it... Uh, toughness isn't the right word, because the, the shrimp was cooked really well. But it just adds a texture to it, which is really nice. So it's good. I guess we're going to get some dessert now. Awesome. So we got both the desserts, but the one that's really cool, especially with presentation, is the lump of coal. I thought this was really going to just be like one or two pieces. Um, it actually comes out as five different pieces of lumps of coal, which is really just chocolate ganache. They kind of serve it over what would be kind of like a little fire. Uh, and you've got your coal, so it's really cool. And it even has a smokiness to it. So talking a little bit about the desserts, we have the cookies and milk, which really wasn't like milk. It was something else I'll let Taylor explain. It wasn't for me. Uh, but as far as the cookies go, which I thought that I might enjoy, um, for me and my palate, they just weren't for me. You might really like them, but they were, uh, to me, a little bit on the drier side, a little crunchy, not as uh, chewy and uh, soft as I like my cookies. But as far as flavors go, the flavors are still pretty good. Um, the pistachio, almost like a Linzer cookie, is like a pistachio Linzer cookie because it has like the center cut out with the jelly in the middle. Um, that was more of a sugar cookie and it was, a, it was a little bit softer, but still again, just not really for me. I didn't enjoy it that much. I'd have to say between the two desserts, I really liked the uh, lump, of coal. lump of coal, the chocolate, ganache uh, and it's probably Oreos kind of mixed in there together as well. So. so for the cookies and milk that Josh was talking about, the milk is actually an adult version of the milk. Uh, it's uh, what they call Coquito. So it has Bacardi Superior Rum, evaporated and sweet and condensed milk, um, cream of coconut and then cinnamon. So it kind of has that like rum chata flavor to it um, but it is really thick it's almost kind of like eggnoggy um, if you will uh, but the flavors were really good and it was you know Josh was talking about how the cookies were like a little bit crunchy they kind of were um, more the chocolate one than the rest of them the mitten um, but actually if you dipped it into the really thick coquito it made it so much softer and even added some more flavor to it. So it was really good. Overall, um, same as Josh, I did really enjoy the lump of coal more than the cookies and milk. Um, the cookies and milk uh, was very pretty to look at, very photogenic, but when they brought out the lumps of coal and they lifted up off the dome and all that smoke came out, it looked like it was resting over a fire. It was super cute. like thoroughly enjoyed just seeing the presentation um, but 
Overall, the desserts were pretty good, but when we come to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, we typically don't come here for dessert. We're coming here for cocktails. We come here for little appetizers. So um, the dessert's just more of the little holiday thing, and we enjoyed being able to get experience it. So overall, I think my two favorite things that we had here today for Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar were the Clausmo <laughs> and the Grandma's Favorite Sliders. Those were the best things that I think that we had today. Um, but, but let us know if you will be here during the holiday season this year to check out Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar here at Disney Springs.